So you're going to open up the supply notes from ATE. Then you're going to open with Google Docs. Then what you're looking for are the student individual email addresses. So I'm just going to scroll down to see where they are. Here they are here. I'm going to triple click in this box. Triple click ensures you don't forget any of them. And you're going to press Control C. I am going to go to Staff Portal and click into Calendar. Then Create. Then you're going to click on More Options. And then please uncheck invite others and see guest lists. And then paste in control V and then press enter all those students email addresses. Just to ensure you don't forget anyone, go back to the list, double check that you included all the students. And now we see actually we have an ECE that we need to invite. So we're going to highlight her email address and also add it to the guest list press enter. And you can just check over your guest list, make sure it's good. Now what you're going to do is give your meeting a title, usually the current teacher's title, which grade and which subject. And then what you're going to do is click on the date and ensure the date is for when you are actually meeting the students. And this is just an example. So for example, this grade five class, I'm meeting them at nine and then saying goodbye to them at the end of the day um, after three, 3.30. 3 um, and then what you're going to do is just triple check all those are accurate. Click on save. And then do not send. You're not going to send an email, but you do want to invite external guests. This next part is very important. What you're going to do is you're going to click in the Google Meet link that was created. You're going to join in and you are going to click on this blue shield, the host controls. You are going to turn off quick access, share their screen and chat messages. This will ensure that you are the first one to enter the meet before your students do. Then leave the meet. You are going to do this step as soon as you create your Google Meet link, your calendar invite. Do this right away and then leave right away. This portion of the video will go over what it will look like from a student point of view. So I am in my student Chrome profile. I can double check by clicking here and seeing at ocsbstudent.ca. It will be very important for students to be signed in with their Chrome profile. Otherwise, this will not work. So as a student, I'm going to go to my student portal and then click on the meet icon. I'm going to select my meeting with my teacher. And then click on join now. Because the teacher is not here and has not started the meet and has turned off quick access, the students will be in a waiting room. They are waiting for the host to join. This is a very good step so that your students are not waiting inside the Google Meets unsupervised.
Now I'm ready to join the meeting with my students. It's class time. I'm going to click on from calendar invite and click on join with Google Meet. And then join now. So here I am in my Google Meet with my student. You can see on host controls that quick access and chat messages are turned off. And you can see that student 17 has just joined right in. It is very, very important that you always, always deny entry of anybody who knocks into your Google Meet because there is no way of knowing who this person may be regardless of what their name may say. So anyone who needs to enter the Google Meet must be invited on the calendar invite. This is important for privacy. When the class is done, it's really easy to end your call. Choose end the call. You get two choices there, and this is gonna end the meet for all of your students. So you don't need to wait until you're the last one out. You can simply end the call, and you can see here that it has ended even for the students. Your host has ended the meeting. So even in a student's account here, I'm gonna show, uh, if they tried to rejoin the meet link, they would get waiting for host to join. So at the end, make sure you use the hang up button and choose end call now every time to ensure the students are not left unsupervised. Thanks. There may be an emergency situation where you need to remove a participant from a meeting. To do this, click on the person and then click on the participant you need to remove and then click remove from meeting. Um, if you needed to fill out an abuse report, you could do that and then click on remove. Please note that this is a permanent deletion of that participant and they will not be able to, to rejoin the meeting. So this is what they will see. So please only use this in an emergency situation. In summary, create your Google Meets for your students using calendar events with the individual list of email addresses. Go into the event and make sure all host controls are off right away. When you're done your meeting with the students, leave the meet by using the hangout button and choose end the call.